So as you can tell by the title of this video, I have a little Star Trek haul for all of you. I actually bought these items a while ago, but I didn't like how I filmed the video, so this is like my fourth time filming it. Um, but the items that I have today are items from the Star Trek Mac collection, and then I have some stuff that were in the Canada Post collection. Um, I know not all of you are going to be too interested in the Star Trek Mac collection, um, so I'm going to start with those things first. So the first item I'm going to show you in the Star Trek Mac collection that I got was the uh, eyelashes. Um, these are not your typical normal lashes, they're not like the everyday kind of look. Um, they do have a little bit of like flair to them and they're a little more dramatic. Um, these ones are, uh, I can't remember what it's actually called, the lashes, like the actual title of it, um, but they've got a little blue, uh, what is it, blue tone to them, um, and they ha are in this like clear packaging with the Star Trek insignia, um, the 50th anniversary insignia on the uh, case. So the next three items I got were actually uh, lipsticks, and there were four in the collection, but I decided to only get three because I'm not, um, the fourth one I didn't, I knew that I wouldn't wear the, the color, so it didn't make sense for me to buy it just because, oh, I'd have the entire collection, so I just bought the ones that I would wear, um, so I'll show you which ones I got. Um, the first one is Where No Man Has Gone Before, and this one is a nice, um, everyday kind of pink look. Uh, it does have a bit of a shine to it, and I also love the packaging because it's the it's like the regular MAC lipstick packaging, but on the actual um, lipstick container, uh, the lipstick tube, there's the 50th anniversary um, uh, logo on it. So the next lipstick I got is um, LLAP, which is also stand for Live Long and Prosper. Um, so it comes in the classic MAC uh, lipstick tube, and then when you open it up and turn the lipstick tube up, um, it's this nice like rose gold champagne c color, and it does like the wear no man has gone before one. Um, it does have a glitter sheen shine to it. Um, I think all of the lipsticks in the Star Trek Matte Collection do, um, but this one is a little more brighter because it is a rose gold color um, and it has the Star Trek 50th anniversary uh, logo on it. And the last lipstick I bought was the Cling It On one and this is actually my favorite one in the collection, um, can get out. I actually wore it in my, uh, previous, um, what is it called? Oh my God, unboxing video that I did for the Legion of Collectors box. Um, and this one is a nice dark purple, um, but when you swatch it on or you put it on your lips, it's actually, um, it's very light. Um, it's just like a nice gloss over on your lips. To get it like more pigmented you obviously have to put more layers um, and you can tell that it's got a lot of glitter and shine to it. Um, but yeah, it's actually my favorite one. So that's it for the Star Trek Matte Collection. Next I'm going to show you is the Canada Post one. And like I said, I bought these a while ago and I filmed this video so many times. So um, these are still... I think they're still being sold on the um, Canada Post website. Um, I'm not sure if the Star Trek Matte Collection is still being sold. I bought it online, but I'm not sure if they still exist on there. Um, if they do, I'll put links in the description box below and you can check them out. So the first thing that I got from Canada Post was this uh, pack of four stamps. Um, I know it seems really dumb to just buy four stamps, but I bought other stuff with it, so it all came at once. Um, so this uh, four stamp pack includes the um, USS Enterprise and the uh, Klingon Imperial Fleet. Um, so yeah, you can actually get this in a roll, but I was like, I'm never going to use them, so four is enough for me. Next, I bought this other 
pack of stamps, and these are larger stamps. Um, uh, these are, this shows some of the original cast members, and um, I really wish they had Miyoto on it because I feel like she is really important to the original series. Really don't like that they only had the male characters. Um, I wish Nyoto was on it, um, but I only wanted uh, Spock and I had to settle for all of these because um, the Spock one ran out and the Spock one was like for one stamp it was like a dollar eighty um, but it was sold out and so I had to get this one and this probably, I don't think this was much anyways, I think it was like maybe five bucks the most. So it's not too bad of pricing for these five stamps, which I'm never going to use. So two more items to show you and the second last item is the one that it's actually from Canada Post. The last item um, would be on Canada Post or from Canada Post, but it sold out so I had to buy it somewhere else. Um, so technically... I didn't get everything from Canada Post, um, but this item is, and this is a lenticular uh, dual stamped collector's item in the Star Trek collection, and when I say lenticular that means it's uh, like 3D and it's motion, so once you like flip it one way it shows a certain image and then if you flip it another way it's going to show a different image. Um, so this one is uh, two stamps one two and it on the back it says it's inspired by the city on the edge of forever um episode so one of star trek's best episodes um and i this is the one that i really wanted the most because it is lenticular and it shows spock and uh captain kirk together and i really like that um dual um so yeah and i think this is about ten dollars the last time that I saw it. Um, so it's not too bad of a pricing considering um, for what it is. Um, but yeah. And the last item which was on Canada Post but sold out. So I actually bought it from another place called the Royal Canadian Mint and they actually do um, like collector coin, like coin collectors. Um, or coin collectibles so they they're the ones that produce the special edition coins and um, they uh, contributed to the Star Trek collection and I only bought one because the one that I wanted uh, actually sold out and it was a Spock one so I got the Star Trek um, the USS Enterprise coin um, and I think this was like 20 bucks I can't remember um all these prices that I'm saying are actually Canadian prices so yeah um I will show you what it looks like and I've never taken it out of its packaging because I am a coin collector nerd alert um I don't like to take out my coins in like the special packaging um so it actually came with a little uh, pamphlet of like what's in the entire Star Trek collection um, and then it came like this this is what the uh, little I guess envelope kind of thing looks like the uh, coin card um, so it's got the USS Enterprise uh, coin image on the front and then when you open it up uh, this has all the information regarding the coin so it tells you like the composition, how much like silver is in it and like the weight and stuff and um, tells you a little bit about the co uh, coin collection and then on the bottom is the coin itself in another like case. So it's in a case and another case inside. So in this uh, coin collector item, um, as you can tell it's kind of on its side. Um, but this is the Enterprise, USS Enterprise coin in the Star Trek collection from Royal Canadian Mint. And it's actually in this uh, plastic case. And then inside that plastic case, it's actually in another case. So in another, like, um, a hard plastic case. So this is a soft plastic. And then it's inside a hard plastic case, a uh, coin case. And... It's just a simple design and I really like it. It's just the USS Enterprise and the 50th anniversary logo on it. 
So that's everything in my little Star Trek haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If um, the items are still on the Canada Post website, the Royal Canadian Mint, and the MAC website, I will put everything in the description box below, and you can find all the items there if you are looking to purchase them. If you did purchase any of those items or stuff within those collections, let me know what you got, because I'd be interested in, to see what you got. And yeah, I will see you all next video. Bye!